Sorry, guys, I forgot to turn off my AC. Okay, well, hello, Leo and Cross Watchers. Welcome to your next 48, you versus them. Um, this is going to be for September 23rd to September 24th. If you are currently a subscriber, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. Um, I choose multiple subscribers every month for um, free readings, tarot cards, and oracle cards, okay? Now, your monthly readings um, is where I announce the winners. So please be sure to uh, click that notification bell so that you know, you know, to go in there and check and see if you've won anything, okay? Now, Leo, I am taking personal readings. The information is in the description box below, and it is $10 off your first reading with me. Um, the deck that we're using today is the Mystic Dreamer deck, number 48, in the description box below. There is an Amazon link in case you are interested in purchasing. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. <coughs> Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what messages do we have for my Leos, please? Holy Spirit, what messages do we have for Leo and their person? September 23rd through the 24th, please. Okay. So we have the Sun, Leo energy, the Empress, Aries, Taurus, Cancer, Libra energy, Temperance, Sagittarian energy, Six of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so we have the Eight of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Hermit, we could be dealing with a Virgo, the Fool, and the Four of Cups. Okay, Leo. So I'm going to be reading. We have the Emperor, the Five of Pentacles, the Two of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Nine of Wands. So I'm going to be reading you on this side, Leo, and your person on this side. Okay? Uh, feel free to flip it, twist it, reverse it, however way it resonates. That's fine. Um, so we're starting here with you. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So I feel, Leo, a lot of you may be talking to friends and family members in regards to maybe um, surprising a person with a marriage proposal. That may resonate with a few of you. Um, I'm feeling for a lot of you, um, you may just be getting closer to friends and family if there's a rift between you and your person. Um, I'm seeing you very happy this week, you know, these next couple of days, uh, Leo. We have the sun here. So you're healing, you're growing, um, you're just totally ready for this whole new beginning that's coming towards you in life. If there's a person in your life, which there's somebody here, um, you find them to be very beautiful or very handsome. You're very attracted towards this person. I feel with the temperance card, you may feel like this person is spiritual or that, you know, you're just... I feel like most of your joy is being divinely guided. It's a, You know that it's coming from a higher place. With the Six of Cups, we may have encountered either a soulmate connection. Um, we could be with somebody that has children, the mother of our children, the father of our children. Um, or this could be an ex that we're looking at or starting a new beginning with. We have the Ace of Swords. So someone here is taking action. Someone here is having... Well, not someone, you. You are having an awakening, Leo. Um, I just feel like you're just awakened spiritually here. 
and you're ready to start this new beginning. Now, the Six of Cups is a big indicator of family also. So you may be traveling to see family or, you know, a soulmate may be traveling to come see you. Okay, and once they, you know, once you guys meet, this may end up um, in a deeper commitment. Now, with your person here, we have, it is safe for you to love, open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So here, Leo, we have somebody that feels, um, they feel like it's safe to love you. And I feel like this person is worried about loving you because they're coming from a place of unrequited love, okay? There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel here that this person may have put a lot of work into uh, relationships with the Eight of Pentacles. This person can possibly be married or in a deep commitment right now, possibly even engaged. But I feel like this person has withdrawn. I feel like this is a very new connection, by the way, guys. I feel like this person has withdrawn and gone into hermit mode. And they are looking for a new beginning. They are looking for a new beginning. And they are, you know, they were either rejected by somebody. They're either feeling rejected by somebody. Or they are rejecting somebody. So I'm getting two pictures here, Leo. Either your person wants to work on a marriage or on this deep commitment that you're offering. Um, this relationship may have uh, experienced a separation where you guys withdrew and rejected each other, but now you guys are starting a new beginning. For another portion of you, there may be someone new coming into your life and this person has put a lot of work into their marriage or into their relationship, but they were in a, in a situation where it was unrequited love. So they have withdrawn from that relationship. They're rejecting it or they feel rejected from that relationship and they want a new beginning with you, Leo. Okay. Um, here we have the emperor. So what I'm seeing here, I mean, the energy between both of you is you guys are very much in control of your emotions right now. But you guys are both solid, solid personalities. What's crossing the situation, I feel, is that I don't know why I'm getting the impression that both of you are coming out of a relationship. Because here we have a new beginning from an ex. Could be a new beginning with an ex. But I feel that, you know, either this is a person, an ex that you've known before. Um, that you And obviously you've known an ex before. What I'm saying is obviously this is an ex, someone that you've been with before. And the situation is coming out of the cold. Or this is someone new. And both of you are going through uh, or have just recently gone through breakups. And now we have the Two of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. This is going to be a very blessed spiritual soulmate, possibly even twin flame connection. We have the Nine of Wands and the Magician here. Yeah, I feel that... Um, I feel, again, with this Magician, I'm feeling it's very spiritual. Someone here has been praying, manifesting. Um, this Temperance card keeps like knocking me in the face i don't know i just keep seeing that angel you know i feel like this has been very spiritually guided with the magician here and with the nine of wands this generally represents um holding back defending something you know so i feel here that you know you, Leo, may be manifesting or praying and your person here is holding back a little bit because they're guarded yeah, but overall, I feel that you guys have walked away from your previous partners and now you're having a lot of victory and success. A lot of victory and success. All right, guys. So if this resonated, please be sure to like 
And don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. And if you'd like to book me for a personal reading, my information is in the description box below. Take care.